Hello there. All right. Well, that was a nice break. And that was great coffee. I happen to live with a barista who makes great coffee. And she spoils us. I know the difference. All right. No donuts, but I'm still hungry, so I'm going to be thinking about food while I'm doing it. But here we are with the folded fabric the way we left it. And I am going to be very simplistic, and it's, it's all about unfolding the fabric or unfolding your project. And I have not touched it. All right, so that's, that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to carefully, now that I have room, carefully, so that the pockets don't move because I didn't use a whole lot of pins. Okay, and this is the top, I suspect, where I did not, see, that's, that's how I know that's the back because I did not cut that. I will, and I'll be explaining that to you. So now, and this is something else I wanted to explain. Okay. So, in this case, it does not matter. In this case, it does not matter how I just flip that top part over and flip the pockets over. So now it's inside out. But, and because the pad, this is random. It doesn't matter which way the pattern's facing and what have you. But, okay, what I do? <laughs> Hello. Okay, and this also, random, random. Okay, so it doesn't matter once you sew the sew an item together that has a random pattern on it, a random print, the front and the back. It doesn't matter. You won't look at the person's back and go, oh, ooh, okay. But now we have something very beautiful that my videographer made, and I still love it. I don't care. <laughs> but she pointed out to me that uh, this is not a random pattern. My videographer happens to make beautiful ruamas. And I just licked my chops until she gave me this one. And it has peace signs on it. Let me show it to you. Isn't that beautiful? I think so. I don't care. Well, anyway, but this is the point I wanted to make. This, it looks random, but it is not. Now, we uh, address these as chicken feet. Just to make the example easier for you. This is the front. Okay? Lovely. I love this thing. And I hope you do too. She sells a lot of them. This, because it is not a random pattern and because it was cut on the fold while the fold while the fabric was folded over just like I began that. When you turn it on the back, <laughs> the chicken feet are pointing upward. The chicken died. <laughs> now I know to a lot of people it doesn't make a difference, but now it's funny that she pointed that out to me. And that's what you want to be careful of. In which case, you're going to flip both sides of this fabric. Okay, we'll get back to that. Send me questions, I'll answer them, but I'll leave you with that. Just so you know, in the case of a non-random pattern, you must take care to flip it properly. Okay, so I'll leave you just with that. All right. Because I did one with uh, pink panthers on it. And I did not take care. So once I made my garment, the pink panther's running down the back of me and the front he's running up. So that, that did not work out too well. Okay. Was that good? <laughs> She's nodding her head. All right. And uh, actually, she trained me well. Now, this is the sort of thing she goes through when she's making one of her items. All these notes about large, small, uh, the dimensions uh, for seams and allowances and what have you. And this is a great idea. But she sells her things. And this is very important. And when I sell a lot of my things, I take the time to do this also. It's not, so there's nothing wrong with that. And I love it. I'm learning. But when you simply want to have fun and you don't care if the hem is crooked, upside down, what, color, what kind of thread you want to use, you put this aside so you don't get coffee and donuts on it. <laughs> and you go back to eyeballing stuff. Okay, because that's a good thing to learn also. So, back to unfolding. There we go. Just the way we left it. Now, it looks pretty long, doesn't it? But remember, anything can be cut down, cut up, or rolled up. Okay, in the case of sleeves, if you happen to make them too long, when you're done, you can simply roll them up. It's your option. So if you want a longer sleeve, you just roll it down. So that's why I go ahead and cut. So 
so much extra when I'm doing the sleeve. Okay, now let's find those pockets. So because this fabric is the way that it is, you don't have to worry too much about which is the front, which is the back, because both sides, you can't tell which is the front, which is the back, the top side or the bottom side, so that's fine. But again, take care of a fabric that does have an obvious top side and bottom side, so that when you get to this point, when you're here and you have it supposedly inside out, you want to be sure that both of these are your top side. <laughs> She's showing me her belly. Yeah. <laughs> but now, see, now you can't leave me alone too long because I had an idea for the pockets. All right, so we're going to take this off because I know what I'm doing. Get rid of these pins. And we're going to... Put, we're going to um, put a little hem here. Now, my machine makes all kinds of decorative uh, stitches and what have you. So, I might make a decorative stitch here. Alright, this is the top of the pocket. Okay. Just roll it under. And pick a nice... Is that one of my favorites? Yeah. Or, let me see. Yeah, that's, uh, no, let's pick 13. Let's do 13. This is, this is a brother, uh, runway project sewing machine. It's very simple, and all your stitches are right here, and you can choose it right on the window. I love it. So I put this upside down. I mean, yes, face down. And I'm going to do a simple hem with one of my decorative stitches. Now you don't want to pull, you're just guiding. And one of the reasons why I don't measure a lot, especially when I'm sewing on the machine, is I take advantage of all these marks here to eyeball things so that I know the width that I'm sewing. So I, that's why I didn't bother to measure that. And also for this situation, I'm using different colors of thread so that I know uh, how my decorative stitch is going. See, y'all, I like that. So that happens to be purple thread, but that's so you can see it and so I can see what it's doing. So I used uh, purple in my bobbin and I used black on the top, which either side it looks nice. Okay, so we're going to do that and we're going to do it on the other one. So I'll see you in a moment when I'm done doing the top stitching on the other pocket. 